Hi, this is uh, Sam. I'm actually making this video to show you the way I found to connect to a MetaTrader 4 without a terminal. So I want to demonstrate that uh, to you in this one. So I am using a PHP application to connect to the trade server using the investor password. So this is one MetaTrader 4 account that I have. And this is the code that I wrote just now to connect to this without the terminal. And this is a test.php that is running on my local machine right now. And as you can see, I can um, refresh this page and it actually goes out to the trade server, connects to the trade server and brings back um, the information from the trading account. So I have opened the same trading account here. See the balance is 4668. 4668. It also brought some of the history. So let's see, 2143 was the balance. Let's find one. Okay. 2239328. This was a Euro USD, and at the end of this uh, balance was blah blah blah. So it um, is based on essentially the API that these guys have created, mtapi.online. And the code that I just showed you was the MetaTrader 4 API using PHP, right? So what all we need for this to work? And um, I'm not very sure at this point whether uh, what I have used from them will be available for free or not because they are selling the software. Um, I'm not sure whether we can continue to use this or at some point we'll have to make a purchase, but at least for now I was able to download um, uh, the application that they have, which is essentially um, MT4 PHP and this is the demo that I downloaded and I'm using that. So what we need for this setup to work is a Windows server, a Windows web server uh, with PHP, I'm using PHP 7.3 but I guess uh, we can use any latest version and of course, we need a Java runtime installed. So what this application actually does is it gives us a Java based application that is actually the one that connects from the browser to the MetaTrader server. And um, that's the library that I'm using right now. So Using this method, I was able to connect on my local machine. What we have to have for this to work is, as you can see, um, let me demonstrate one more account. So I have one more account here that I have, and this time I'm using an IP address to connect. So let's see if this works. So let's refresh. So while the page refreshes, what we will need for this to work, as you can see, is this is the code library, so we need that. This is the account ID, uh, the login ID of the account. This is the investor password and the IP address and the port number. So if these pieces of information are available, 
then this application may work. And I say may because this is just a test application. So we don't know at this point here, it went back and connected to the other account as well. Anyway, so the point here is that we don't know if this will, um, like I said, first of all, this will be freely available to be used for, for a long time, or will they stop us from using this after some time? I don't know that. And the second thing is, for this to be viable option, will the users have all this information available? Like users will definitely know their login and password, but will they be able to give us the server address and port number is the question. So if you think that this is viable um, or this is something you can uh, get the users to provide you, or uh, submit on your website, then yes, we can use this method to connect and get the account information, the history, whatever information the API provides, right? So right now, just few of the sample information is available. So we don't know what all will be available uh, in the API but uh, some basic information at least you can fetch, like the account balance, trade history, and stuff like that. Okay, so hopefully this was uh, useful and uh, let me know if any questions or concerns. Thank you.